morning, Leticia. This is the largest farmer's market in California. It's also one of the longest running and one of the only year round farmer's markets. One of my favorite places to be on a Sunday. And this morning we've been talking with farmers out here about the weather this year. As you mentioned, it's cold this morning. I just talked to Lynn Trunk. She says it's 40 degrees in downtown Sacramento. This time last week, last Sunday, the high was 81 degrees in Sacramento. So a huge difference. And aside from that, we've had a lot of rain this year. We've had snow and hail and just a huge variety when it comes to weather. And of course, farmers rely on the weather. We're uh, at, with KPay Organic. We've got Hannah O'Brien very busy over here. Hannah, we'll steal you away for just Hi. a minute. Hi. Now, I know you guys are known for your carrots. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about how the carrots have been affected this year. Well, we've had so much rain this year, which makes the ground really muddy out in the Cape Bay Valley. And um, it's been really hard to get our carrots out of the ground. We have land all over Cape Bay Valley, so um, some areas have been drier than others. So um, we've been able to get our rainbow carrots out of the ground, but they're not as sweet as our really popular orange Nante carrots. So we've got we've lost a lot of those this year, which is really unfortunate because our customers come and they love our orange sweet Nante carrots, you know. So it affects the flavor, obviously. When yeah. you say we've lost a lot of it, does that mean you just have to leave them out in the field because you can't get to them? Yeah, when it dries up, we'll probably go out and pick them and then till them back in and replant later on. Any other crops that have been affected by uh, the weather? Not quite, just mostly our carrots. We've lost some beets as well. Beets are going out of season. We also do chard, a bunch of different varieties of kale and um, lettuce as well. Any crops that have just loved the unpredictability or the change um, in the weather? Our chard is really booming with all this rain, honestly. We have chard all the time. Okay, and uh, this is one of the most popular farmers markets in the region. Have you seen a lot of people coming out uh, asking for your carrots, asking for particular vegetables that, uh, that maybe have been affected by the weather? It's always the carrots. <laughs> it's, we usually have tons of carrots every time, and this time people are really going to be disappointed that we don't have any orange ones today. Well, you've got a lot of beautiful looking carrots here, Thank Hannah. You. I'll let you finish setting up. Yeah. Thank you. I have to point out uh, one of my favorite features so far this morning at the farmer's market. They always have a theme out here. And a uh, week from today is Easter. Check out this theme. Leticia, I don't know if you can tell. It's an Easter bunny here. Oh, adorable. Eating a carrot, mouth, <laughs> carrot, whiskers. Tell me that's not the cutest thing you've seen in vegetables. Oh, that's adorable, Kristen. <laughs> you've also inspired me to eat a little healthy. I kind of want one of those smoothies with carrots and oranges right now. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can't not want to eat vegetables when you're out here. They're so beautiful. It looks beautiful. Thank you so much for that live report.